This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McLean. You spent an entire career saving for retirement, and you know what? The last thing you need at this stage is to make a misstep that ends up spinning down your savings too quickly. Well, how can you make sure that you've done enough? Today, Scott's going to share with you some simple ways to help you maximize your retirement income, help make the most out of your retirement by taking these strategic but simple steps. This is Financial Insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. Scott's an important topic here today. It is, Alex. It's a big topic. And actually, I don't know how simple it is, as you said, as you opened up, because retirement, Alex, isn't simple. It's almost like I want to be in the Olympics, but I have to do a heck of a lot of warm ups and practices starting at age five or six years old. And I finally make it to I'm 16, 17, 18. So, Alex, retirement's almost the same thing. You have years of time of planning for retirement, but there's so many bumps and bruises and joys along the way. So I uh, want to let people know right now as we talk about it is, uh, of course, retirement isn't easy. And so thanks for joining us today. This is Scott McLean and Alex. We talk about your retirement. Alex, what do you got for me? What's, what's going on, big dog? Yeah, Scott. Well, you know, I don't want people to feel bad. And here's some information that kind of just lets you know if, if this is resonating for you that you're not alone. Because projections from the Employee Benefit Research Institute show that 40% of households where the head of the household is between 35 years old and 64 are projected to run short of money in retirement. So not quite half, but pretty darn close. Scott, how concerned should pre-retirees be about running out of money? Well, number one, living in fear is not good, but planning is important. So I think, Alex, what you're saying is, you know, people are not saving as much, and now we're facing a lot of economic challenges right now. Now we have the uh, Democrats fighting the Republicans, We've got the inflation. We've got gas prices, as we spoke about at the beginning of the show. Things uh, are changing. Some people aren't as saving as much because they're digging into their wallet. But again, that report, you said 40% of households, while the head of households between 35 and 64 are projected to run out of money. Yeah, are they focusing on saving? As I tell my, uh, my kids as they're growing up, do today what others won't do. So you'll have tomorrow what others won't have. What is that? Sacrificing and savings, putting money away. And again, putting money away in the right coffers so you don't have to worry. Now, it's so funny that you talk about this as we talk about today. I just had a, a lovely couple come in. We actually are planning eight months out. And they said, Scott, we just applied for Social Security. It'll be turned on uh, in August. I said, wow, congratulations. Let me see your numbers. Let's see if we're on pace. And they are on pace, thank goodness, for Social Security. And his wife is on Social Security Disability. So that's a big help. The question comes out when they pull money out of their investments, how do they pull it out? And can they keep up with inflation? So that's been a big, big discussion. The good news for those of you listening, if you're planning and going into retirement, you know, the most important thing and mistakes I've noticed and I've noticed in my practice for many, many years is waiting to the last minute to talk to your advisor or at least talk to somebody or for those do it yourselfers out there, they try to do it themselves, but there's so many legs on a stool. Let's say there's three legged stool, your pension, your social security, and of course your own savings. If you're not paying attention to that, that stool will collapse. And uh, I don't think anybody wants that to happen, especially with prices of food and shelter and gas going up. 
Well, and Scott, people are probably thinking too, like 40%, man, how is that so high? But there's a lot of a lot of factors involved. I mean, there's a lot of reasons that, that cause people to spend down their savings faster than they anticipated. That's for sure. Some of the factors which we don't want to factor in, if you've been working your whole life, you and your spouse, you're by yourself, you don't ever think about being sick. I think that's a big deal. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I mean, it's going to happen sick- to all of us. It's going to happen and we don't want it to happen. So I I call that the big denial. I know when I had one of my illnesses and uh, I was in denial, I don't have it. I'm fine. I'm good. It's 2012. I was getting ready for a marathon and we were going to Hawaii, my daughter and I, and and, uh, the wheels fell off and found out I had a uh, a rheumatoid arthritis and it kicked in big time. And I I hear I'm a tough guy or uh, I should say (laughs) I thought I was until the wheels started falling off. And uh, of course, now you're on medications. Now, notwithstanding, still have to work out, still stay in shape. The number one thing on people when they go into retirement, one thing they should be thinking about is, am I staying in shape? Am I eating correctly? I know it's basic and you guys listening right now, you're probably this guy's preaching at me. I'm not preaching at you. I'm talking to myself and you look yourself in the mirror. It's like, oh my goodness, I better lose a little bit of poundage because that's going to raise up the uh, issues of health issues. The next one, Alex, I think is, you know, my daughter and wife uh, were coming back from Ocala from competing down there at the world equestrian center. And I don't know if you saw the pictures, Alex, but uh, a tire came across the road from an SUV, crashed in the into the, uh, I have a 3500 dually Ram, ripped off the roof of mm. the car. And you'll look at it. Thank God the angels pushed the tire away from my daughter as she was driving and yes. the wheel bent backwards. But we don't plan for accidents. And that's just another left hook comes out of the I don't know where it comes from, but it just Mm -hmm. comes out there and we got to deal with it. And that, which leads into our being disabled. So the long-term care issues, the death of a loving spouse, we just did a title transfer and we actually opened up a uh, irrevocable trust to hide assets. So the nursing homes wouldn't grab the money from the client. And when we were doing the planning process, everything was beautiful. I get a call just yesterday afternoon that the spouse passed away. So what's that? You're messing the whole game plan up. What are you doing dying? Hmm. These are lovely clients of ours and for years, but uh, after we set everything up perfectly, he passed away from a brain hemorrhage. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. So we, we don't we don't know when these, as you say, these factors, I call it the unexpected Muhammad Ali uppercut comes into your life and all of a sudden out of the blue, you are taken down or, or, or I, I think about on, top of that, I have children, as many people know, I've been doing this radio show now since I it's almost 12, 13 years. I got a bunch of kids. And, and, uh, one of the issues is, and I noticed this on several different families, the kids, you know, have problems in their life. So there's a divorce, maybe their kids get sick and they go to the well, they go to mom and dad and, uh, they go to the uh, the bank of mom, the bank of dad, and 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 that is the hardest part. Which I find people, you know, I'm going to help my kids. I'm going to help my kids. Well, the definition of help could be hurt in the long run. That's why it's so important. If you have a financial advisor, you definitely need to talk to them before you start doling out money to see how will it affect you. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying be cautious because the kids can really pull on your heartstrings and maybe it's just for a couple issues they need to go through. Like we've all been through. So again, there's another factor that comes out of the blue and the heart, this is called the heartstring factor. The heartstrings is pulled and you kind of want to help out the kids. Now, Alex, I don't know if you've gone out with a, uh, out to dinner with people and uh, you find out who's going to pay the bill. I, it's amazing for me, Alex, when my kids, want to go out for, you know, here comes whether it's Father's Day or whether it's my birthday, I'm always ending up paying. What's up with that deal? You know, you know what, Alex, what, what do you what, do? Well, my mom has no problem announcing right at the beginning that we're going Dutch, that we're, that we're splitting the tap. <laughs> so my, my mom has no problem laying it out there, right? You know, we'll hang out. We're friends at this point. So it's not just a, you know, coming over for dinner. We're going to meet somewhere, a bar, a restaurant or something. And, it, and it's kind of known now we're splitting the tap. You just got to set that. You got <laughs> to let them know up front, Scott. 
Boy, you, you couldn't have said that better because I know I don't do it. And of course, my kids always expect it. And then, uh, of course, <laughs> that's that's why it's so important to, uh, you know, if, if you if people out there have got a challenge, Alex, they might want to give our studios a call. I'd love to walk them through some of the factors, some of the unknown left hooks. Mm -hmm. I, you know, doing this business for as many years as I've been doing it, I've seen a lot of left hooks and and uh they're real and they're real so if they want to give our studios a call off the air i'd be happy to take a call at 609-488-4646 i'd love to be able to answer your questions if i can if i can't we have plenty of uh, access and resources to call with us our lawyers or our tax people but again 609-488-4646 because alex as you said in the beginning of the show what are the factors that show up i, I say the the ending factor, if you pass away, the crows and the clowns show up at the funeral, but it's before the funeral when it really could be uh, a challenging when it comes to retirement, and especially when people are you know, not saving as much right now or not putting, a, putting it away. I think this is really important to sit down and have a, a come to Jesus meeting, I call it, a one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, let's find out where we stand and, and do this often. Yeah, and we're talking about unexpected factors, and you mentioned like a Muhammad Ali left hook, and I just kept thinking of the Mike Tyson quote, we all have a plan <laughs> until we get punched in the face. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of how sure. it is uh, in retirement as well. And Sky, we got a few moments left here of our, our opening segment, but, you know, we're talking about problems, but you're a solutions guy. Can we talk about some strategies uh, that we can implement, make sure we don't spend down that retirement savings too quickly? Well, obviously, it's very, very basic for those Dave Ramsey fans out there. Obviously, you want to save money uh, and you want to have a nice nest egg. Frankly, I could care less if somebody had an extra five or ten thousand dollars hanging around, uh, because I can tell you right now their money's hanging around um, in a savings account, a liquid money, a liquidity enough money in the case the left hook comes up next thing is of course maybe having that meeting with the kids and when you have a meeting with the kids obviously uh which i haven't done by the way and say hey guys like you said what your mom does mm -hmm. having that meeting it's a really important to have that discussion who's going to pay the bills and finally you know watch your spending the hardest thing i've noticed alex when you go into retirement is a budget now no one likes a budget and I, I i call it the the nasty b word that budget could be really really challenging and not knowing what you're going to spend this is how you can really focus on a fixed income type of situation so uh, I, I i there's no easy plan except to putting a plan together then once it's established you know what to say or you know how to reply to people i think that's important alex and Scott, if people want a second opinion, how could they get a hold of you? Because I know that's something that's just so important. You know, I'd love to take phone calls or if they'd like to, uh, you know, just say, you know, Scott, I think we need to have a discussion. Can we have a discussion? Can we meet? Yeah, no cost, no obligation. I'll talk to anybody. I'd love to help people, whether it's off the air, on the phone, or it's in person. Uh, obviously, our office is in Waretown, New Jersey. And uh, right across the street from the uh, lovely shop, right? And the old Dunkin' Donuts, which is down the street. But yeah, I mean, to have that really, really s sincere discussion. I know people think, oh, yeah, they're sincere. He's, he, he just wants to get some. No, it's about getting to know people. And if people have been to our office, uh, I can tell you that they're going to get some information that they either can apply or at least think about applying and there's no harm, no foul, no twisting of arms. They need to put a plan together. As you say, the Muhammad, as I say, the Muhammad Ali uppercut or the uh, not being aware of a, another challenge down the road. Very important to talk about it. And Scott's number again, if you want more information, if you have questions, 609-488-4646. Well, Social Security, Scott, you know this, it could be a million dollar decision. So you got to get this right. More with Scott McLean on financial insanity coming up. Hi, this is Bonnie from McLean Advisory Group, wishing you comfort, hope, and joy. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. 
It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. 96% of Americans, 96, are taking Social Security at the wrong time. That means most of us losing out on an average of $111,000 over a lifetime. So, Scott, sounds like uh, many of us are mismanaging uh, this important benefit. I don't know if it's mismanaging. Uh, I think it's not being informed, hmm. not being educated. I think that's where the challenge is in the in the industry, where the financial guy or gal or a salesperson wants to make a sale, not taking into three-legged stool, which is Social Security choices versus the pension options versus the personal savings. And when I think about those different areas, you know, I, I thinking about taking my kids to the Dunkin' Donuts as well as in, in Dunkin' Donuts, they have the, the ice cream. You ever been to a Dunkin' Donuts? They have ice cream? No, I there. didn't. I, I thought I haven't heard. We got to get that here in Kansas. You don't have that? Well, you guys are missing out because in Dunkin' Donuts, they also have the uh, the Baskin Robbins uh, uh, ah, ice cream. Okay. And, and I was th the reason I brought that up because, you know, when you bring a kid to the ice cream store, or uh, giving them so many different choices. It's almost like a deer in the headlights. They see these Baskin Robbins, they got 100 different flavors, and you say, I want them all. Well, I think about the Social Security because there's 567 ways to claim Social Security. And, and I don't know if you know this, but the one way to maximize the lifetime benefits could be cost you over a hundred thousand dollars or more over one's lifetime by picking the second most favorable choice. Now, let me be real clear and help people understand this. It's not a cookie cutter solution. You just don't go to Baskin Robbins, get chocolate because some of you might not like chocolate, or maybe you're allergic to ice cream and you need maybe just a donut. So by picking the right social security choice is not set it and forget it. And this is the biggest problem I've noticed in helping retirees pick their social security, walking through the different choices in social security. My goodness, that one mistake by not asking all the different questions. Do you have a disabled son or daughter? Are you taking care of your mom and dad? Do you want to retire early? Do you want to retire late? What kind of assets do you have? So picking social security, could be a huge, huge mistake by not looking at all the options, Alex. I think this is a huge mistake. And I call it the, frankly, blame the financial guys and gals out there. If you've been to a financial advisor and they haven't looked at Social Security before you've chosen it and really analyzed it, you're missing out. People need, this is why people give us a call at our studios and say, Scott, I'd like to have that discussion. Please. Please, we need to have that discussion. You need to have a discussion. I don't need to have a discussion, but because I'm versed on this and I'm I'm pretty good at this, Alex, at 609-488-4646, write down your questions. Feel free to give our studios a call. Off the air, I'll talk to you. No cost, no harm, no foul. You're not going to get twisted. You're not going to get sold. I promise that in a fact. I will just educate you on the different choices. This is why, listen to me, they need to go to socialsecurity.gov and pull up their social security report. Now that's step one. Go to the social security, get my social security report. You can get it online 24 seven, download it. This is important because social security is a huge, huge, huge part of planning for your retirement. 
Well, and Scott, going to that site and pulling that up is important, but talk a little bit about why it's maybe not a good idea or even possible to reach out to the Social Security Administration if you're asking for, you know, specific recommendations when it comes to your situation. Well, that's a, uh, a load full. Um, <laughs> you could call Social Security, but they are not allowed to make recommendations. They're allowed to tell you the numbers. Mm. So that's a very important value. You could call them. I don't want to deter anybody from calling. Yeah, good point. The challenge is picking, making that final decision, because there's only one do-over. You pick Social Security, you only have 12 months as of the laws today in 2022 uh, that that allow you to, they, I call it the mulligan for those golfers out there. You can redo it, but you've got to do it within one year. Otherwise, you cannot redo it. So if you found out you made a mistake, if you're listening right now and you've just turned on Social Security, this is not an option, if I were you, to making sure you've got the best choice. Now, that, that being said, there's a lot of different choices. And uh, so you definitely want to get that Social Security analysis. It's a unique software, Alex, really, really unique software, which they don't have. Now, the website at the Social Security offers is kind of good, but it doesn't dive into the most important details that everyone should look at before they choose Social Security. So again, go to Social Security, download your report, look at your report. There's a lot of mistakes in those reports, possibly. You wanna make sure that there is no mistakes when you get those numbers. So uh, uh, get some help, at least if you before you turn Social Security on. Uh, and Frank, Alex, you know, talking about Social Security, I don't know if you're thinking about this, but just the other day I was talking to a client and and and, and they were, not a client, a person that came into one of our workshops. When they came into our workshop, I found out that the wife was disabled, hmm. but she still was working part-time, barely making it. She was in severe pain. And I was talking to her in my office. I said, you know, in all fairness, you need to apply for social security disability. I don't deserve it. I don't want it. I don't want to go on there. I know people are getting it. They don't deserve it. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. We're talking about you. Hmm. And all fairness, based on what I'm looking at, based on the medications you told me you're taking, you need to apply for Social Security disability. You know, she looked at me and she got a little teary eyed and I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I don't mean to step on your toes or get personal. No one's ever asked me that before. No one ever really forced me. I said, I'm not forcing you. I'm highly encouraging you to look into this benefit because in her case, you could you could just see it. And, and then this is part of the questioning process of the social security analysis that everyone should be doing before they choose social security, Alex. Well, and it's not like, you know, she needed permission, but you're almost giving her permission at that point. You, you yeah, can do it. You're going to be fine. You know, you deal with this all the time. You know what's wrong. You know what's right. You know what's available and who it's available for. So uh, that's great advice. Scott McLean here, Financial Insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. And what are some common mistakes, Scott, people make, uh, you know, when it comes to taking Social Security? I think it's looking at that easy money. Uh, I, I, for me, it's like uh, my best friend started at 63. He turned it on. I am uh, 63, almost 64. Uh, I, luckily, I'm working. I love what I do. I don't think I ever want to stop working. But it's turning it on too soon when maybe they don't need to or maybe thinking it's going to run out. Now, that's a, a good debate. I see the last report on Social Security. I think it was 2030. 334, they're saying that they're going to have to reduce Social Security unless Congress does something. So that's out there. But again, number one, turning it on. Number two, not really looking at if, if you're married out there and you're about to go into retirement, it's looking at both the couple's Social Security benefits. Perhaps one should turn theirs on, the other shouldn't. Perhaps both of you all, if you're married, should turn it on. Perhaps you have a significant other, you're not married. Perhaps you all, you guys talk about it. How much do you have in savings? But again, among the people, if you're married, what happens? Here's the problem. Listen, listen, listen carefully. Financial insanity, this is the problem. Let's say you plan your retirement, Alex, and your spouse and you plan on retiring. You're taking Social Security. But did you plan? Here's a big issue. Did you plan, which you probably didn't, on one of you passing? What happens if you lose that lump sum? 
In other words, Alex, if uh, uh, all of a sudden your lovely spouse is collecting Social Security and she's receiving, let's just say, $1,000 a month, well, that's $12,000 a year. Imagine that coming out of your budget hmm. right off the bat. You know what $12,000 a year, Alex, equates to? What, what, in other words, if you had a pool of money and you lost 12000 to replace $12,000 a year, do you know how much that pool needs to be, Alex? Hmm. Tell me. $300,000 equates to hmm. $1,000 a month. Yeah, over time. Using I the rule that. of four. Imagine not putting that in your plan. So that's another discussion when it comes to planning for retirement, looking at Social Security. When do you turn it on? Should you wait? Should you not wait? Everybody's not a cookie cutter. Let's wait till 70. I get uh, I get a nice 8% increase every single year. Well, we'll time out because everybody isn't the same. And I think this is where it's really important. You hear, I, I say, you hear your friends and your relatives your acquaintances, and they tell you when what to do. But did they really ask more than when to take it? Did they ask about the lifestyle? And this is a big challenge when it comes to Social Security and choosing Social Security. And Scott, you know, it's just a part of your retirement income strategy. How does Social Security kind of fit in with the rest of the plan? Fits in great. If you have Social Security, if you haven't paid in and have those 40, uh, 40 periods, well, it could be a great supplement. I, I, I like using it as a, a great tool as part as your pension tool. The pension tool gives a lot of options. There's nothing worse I don't really like, although I do meet with people every single day, is when someone has a pension and they're about to choose the pension option, but they do it one or two months before they come in and say, Scott, we're going to retire. Which pension option should I choose? Oh my goodness, I wish you would have met with me six months before because you could have had more options. This is where Social Security can be tiered up by maybe waiting for Social Security using some of the different assets they have, IRAs, Roth IRAs, non-qualified, or let's say liquid money, joint money. How do you tier or put together and analyze where and how do you take money out of these buckets of money because i can tell you uh seeing this i'd love to meet people before they choose the pension plan which ties in alex it ties into social security and the options and then again this the ugly question what happens if either one of you if you're married either one of you pass away what's going to happen let's say you're not married and you're living with a beautiful significant friend or other we'll call it well if they're part of your life this needs to be discussed between everybody. So this is important uh, of challenges of taking Social Security and tiering it with your pension or savings, IRA, and non-qualified money. Yeah, it's a very important decision, and people are are not alone. Scott, they can get a hold of you if they want to talk about this or get some more information, right? We've been doing this now on WBNJ. We're a proud supporter of WBNJ for so many years. Why? Because they're an education workshop. They're a we're education radio. And the reason why I've been working on this show, not to you know bolster WBNJ and they've got nice, beautiful music, is because we're able to educate people on making sound decisions. And so uh, they're welcome to give our studios a call at 609-488. 4646. I'd love to talk to you off the air. Or frankly, if you decide, you say, Scott, you know what? I don't want to do it over the phone. I want to do it in person. We'll give our studios a call. They'll make it happen for anyone. No cost, no obligation. 609-488-4646. You will love my staff. I can guarantee you that. You know, earlier you mentioned uh, the ugly B word budget. Well, coming up, we're going to talk about the ugly T word taxes, because if some of oh. your income in retirement will be coming from your retirement savings, well, guess what? You could get hit with the highest penalty in the tax code if you are not careful. More on this coming up. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. 
Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609 609- 488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Forbes says required minimum distributions can trigger the highest penalty in the tax code if you do not follow the rules. Well, you definitely don't want steep penalties and potentially higher taxes swiping away at your retirement savings leaving you with the fraction of the money you were counting on for retirement. And uh, it's a big deal, Scott. It is. Penalties are worse. Oh, yeah. You know, those required minimum distributions, a critical issue. I remember we do taxes at our firm. I don't know if you understand this, Alex. We do tax returns for our financial clients. We charge a whole lot of money. It's like $110 for the state (laughs) and federal tax return. And uh, we built that. I built that in 2008 because of this, what you're saying right now, the unforeseen unknown taxes. And so in doing taxes, George came in and uh, his wife came into our office, our old office in Barnegat, New Jersey. And I'll never forget when just a beautiful man, he was an engineer, guy's top of his game. And they, you know, they, the older people, they dress mighty dapper. And he came in, he was 83 years old. And, uh, uh, and, I, and I met with them and Gloria. We did the tax. I said, well, why, why'd you come here? Well, we heard you on the radio and we just kind of wanted to come in and meet with you. And, you know, my husband's uh, used to do it all the time, but, and I'm just not sure if he's doing it right. She came in, they, they both came in the office. I'm meeting with them. Just a beautiful couple, sharp as a tack. And, and we're going through returns after grabbing their two years of tax returns. I was able to look back and look at them and sent them on their own way as I was, you know, got all the information ready to process it. I noticed in looking at the previous two years tax return, I noticed that the year before we met them, he didn't take any required minimum distributions, or I should say they, but the year, the previous year to that year, let's just say it's 2010. I'm looking at 2011 and we're doing the taxes in 2012 to make it real simple. Well, the 2011, I didn't see any requirement of distribution. In 2010, I saw minimum distribution. So in 2012, now we're doing the tax returns for 2012. Again, he didn't take any required minimum distribution. So obviously, give him a call on the phone and say, let me see, can I have a, do you, do you have any IRAs or 401ks? Cause I don't see anything in your statements. I don't see any of your returns. I don't see any brokerage statements. And so we got to have all that bottom line. They had over $1.2 million in IRA money. Now they had a 401k as well as uh, IRAs. Why do I tell people this? When you're doing it yourself, sometimes the lights go dim. (laughs) You know, sometimes you forget where you put the keys. Sometimes you can't see the milk behind the the cookies. Well, it shouldn't be in that department anyway. Anyway, when I looked at the tax return and I'm looking at it, I talked to the tax guy. I said, hey, guys, take a look at this. I found out that he had missed two RMDs. Mm. Now, if anybody knows what the penalty, I'll just give you a quick scenario. The penalty for that was over $28,000 in penalties for one year. Mm. He missed two years. And then I called and I spoke to his lovely wife and she yelled at us. She said, well, what are you going to do about it? You caused the problem. I'm like, whoa, 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 time out. I'm I'm sorry. We're just following up with what we see. Mm -hmm. If people, it's easy to forget these small rules. Well, they came in and I asked, would you mind if you would bring your son in? And he was 58 years old. Nice guy. And I wanted him to be there as another sounding board because I don't think they were getting it. 
bottom line is not only did they miss two years, but he missed the past couple of years tax returns, which means they got a huge, severe penalty. Well, the nice thing, what we did is after drilling down and talking to the son and giving him some options, here's what you can do. Pretty much if people are not aware about the requirement of distributions, it is a critical tool of mistakes, a critical mistake tool, I should say. And, but by the way, we were able to write a letter. I got a copy of all his medical uh, records. I got a copy of uh, all his medications. And he I was in the beginning of dementia, Alzheimer's. It was actually kicking in big time. Now, why do I tell that to people? You know what? Sometimes giants stand on the shoulders of other giants. Sometimes, you know, you don't feel that well and late lights are going dim. You need to go to somebody else. If requirement of distribution is critical. Now, Alex, I don't know if there's anybody out there right now and you do your own tax returns. That's fine. I'm not asking to do people's tax returns. That's the least I want to do. But I want to say the tax returns is a good MRI. It's a good EKG, which is why when we meet with financial clients or potential financial clients, I want to see the tax returns because it tells a story. And not only does it tell a story, Alex, but it tells me what happens as we spoke about in other segments of our show. We talk about social security. We talk about planning for retirement. Well, tax returns is a vital tool when it comes to planning for a retirement. And then of course the taxes and uh, taking the right deduction. So in this case here, we were able to write a letter to the IRS. We got our forgiveness. We took all the taxes out and they forgave him three years of missed RMDs. And, uh, we were, we were really blessed to get that taken care of. And, and, and she did understand because her son, of course, related to her and her husband. So requirement of distributions, Alex, I don't know what, you know, what president Obama did, but I'd like to pick on him for the good reason, whether you like him or not. I'd like to talk about something very powerful. I wrote a paper and uh, it's a, uh, a unique paper I called give and get more back. Have you ever heard of that, Alex? Give and get more back. Oh yeah. I've heard of that. Well, see the scriptures talk about blessed is those who give, you know, the scriptures love a cheerful giver. Well, how do you give and get more back? This is called the QCD qualified charitable deduction. Mm. In other words, if you go to a church or a synagogue, or maybe you like the popcorn park zoo here in, in New Jersey, you want to donate to your favorite zoo, or maybe Deborah hospital or Danny Thomas is the favorite St. Jude's. Why not give your required minimum distribution? If you don't need it, by the way, if you don't need it, why not donate the required minimum distribution from the IRA and have the IRA send a check directly to the charity. I remember writing a paper to our church. I go to Bayside Chapel up here in, in, uh, in, in New Jersey, in Barnegat, New Jersey. And I wrote a letter. I said, here, give this to your people. So I said, don't tithe anymore. You should have seen the, the deacons and trustee. What? Yeah, don't, don't tithe anymore. <laughs> what I was meaning to say as I kept going is, why not do your tithe from your requirement distribution and give and get more back because you don't pay tax on that qualified distribution. Well, in that this way, you is can, a big deal. You can have your cake and eat it too, Scott. Yeah, I, I <laughs> totally. It's amazing because when you see all the stimuluses and and you want to pay attention to taxes, maybe you're taking care of your mom and dad out there for for families out there. You know, their mom and dad's their lights are going dim. You know, you want to make sure can you get all the dedu deductions. So again, we just spoke about charitable deductions. We talked about maybe, maybe the re and some people didn't get the rebates because they didn't do the tax returns correctly. Uh, maybe they need to, uh, if they're in retirement or heading into retirement, maybe put more money into your 401k, 403b. But we're talking about requirement of distributions. This comes from your, either your 401k, 403b, 457, which must be taken out individually or from your IRAs. And there is a lot of loopholes people cannot mistakenly miss because they're not going to forgive it that easy unless you have a lot of issues like George did. But this is important to pay attention to taxes because that could really, really resonate with your wallet. 
Financial Insanity, Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. And Scott, I want to go back to something we uh, mentioned earlier, and this is was in regards to you know having some some challenges, some things come up in retirement that maybe uh, you did not anticipate. And one thing that we can anticipate is that we're going to get older, Scott. But some of us, you know, we're stubborn. Right. And, you know, we're active and we're we're still getting up there in age. But gosh, darn it, that's not holding us back from water skiing or or riding horses or whatever it is that we may be doing. But, Scott, there does come a point when you got to look at yourself and you got to be real. You got to say, when's the last time I went to the doctor or what that doctor said? Maybe I should listen to. And, Scott, I know that this is personal to you and something that you see often. But maybe just speak to that, that, you know, challenges are going to come up. And you're going to have to adjust, and that's all right. There is challenges, and I'm probably uh, like most men out there, uh, and their wives are saying you're stubborn. Well, yeah, you don't want to go to the doctor. You don't want to hear the bad news, or maybe you got an ache here, a pain there, and, and you put it aside, and you and you it gets nothing gets worse. And then, uh, which happened to myself, as I mentioned before, in 2012, I remember Daddy going to the hospital. My dad never was sick or never complained. I never knew it. And I get a phone call from my mom and, and she says, uh, Scott, your father was walking from the restroom to the, uh, his favorite chair and he got winded. I see yeah, mom, big deal guys. Uh, he says, Scott, it's only 15 feet away. I said, Oh yeah, you're right. Thinking they were Jacksonville, Florida. Daddy died seven days later. Mm. You know what? I don't know if he had leukemia back then. All I know is it just came up on him and, and wiped him out. Mm. Thank goodness I was there for my mama and uh, my dad. And and uh, obviously when he passed away, we we're able to take care of things. We don't know what we don't know. Is that right? We just don't yeah. know what we don't know. This is why planning is so important. This is why discussions, if they have, if you have a financial advisor, they need to be asking these questions. They need to be looking at your power of attorney, your living will, your health care directive and your will, and maybe an asset, maybe your trust. And if you're a veteran out there or a spouse of a veteran, there are benefits out there. If you've gone to our website, 609-488-4646.com, go to our website. You'll see some unique tools for our veterans as and their spouses that could be taking care of nursing care for totally free for those who qualify depending on when you serve but we help a lot of people the challenges i think the same thing alex applies to the financial and the legal and the taxes not paying attention to these three areas intimately understanding on a use at least an annual basis is you now are making friends with the three blind mice one person may be good in their skills but all three need to talk about you. And this is where the financial insanity gets off the rails, which is why I built our show many, many years ago. And Scott, one more time for us today, let people know if they want more information, if they want to learn about some of the stuff you've been talking today, want to seek some, some advice, some guidance, uh, how can they get a hold of you? I would love to speak to people off the air. You want to give us a call at our studios? 609-488-4646. Again, 609-488-4646. And if you simply go .com, that's our website. How simple is that? I like numbers and numbers tell stories. And I would love to talk to you um, if I can be of help to anyone listening. I can tell you that the time we spend together will be well worthwhile and there'll be no coercing or twisting of arms for me wanting to do business. Frankly, people love coming in and talking to us because they know they're not going to get uh, uh, bamboozled with trying to sales pitch, which is not our mentor and not our, not our process. To get answers to your questions, 609-488-4646. More Financial Insanity with Scott McLean coming up. Hi, this is Bonnie from McLean Advisory Group, wishing you comfort, hope, and joy. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. 
It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. As you could imagine, Scott gets questions each and every week about all things retirement, and we're going to open up some of these questions now. It's our mailbag segment, some common retirement questions. So, Scott, first off, thought this was a good one. We are seriously considering relocating now that we're a few years into retirement. Nothing is off the table, including moving abroad. Ooh la la. What are some things we should think about, Scott, when trying to decide where the heck we should go? Well, being we just moved from Manahawk in New Jersey, and my wife and I and daughter and the family moved up to a place called Southampton, New Jersey, out to our farm. Many mm-hmm. people know we have a farm and many horses out there in Southampton. You know, there's a there. What what do you think about? Number one, the expense of moving. Number two, the pain in the applesauce it is to move. And number three, um, are you away from the kids or not? So when I talk to people that are thinking about maybe getting a second home, maybe down south, a lot of people are talking to me now. Scott, what do you think we should do? How do we leverage our money? Where do we? Take the money from Scott to move. I've heard so many people ask these questions. If you're out there thinking about it, I'd love to speak to you because what I found is people are taking the money from the wrong accounts Mm -hmm. or they're not leveraging their money. They're not perhaps borrowing money on the new house to buy, waiting for their house to sell. The market's getting a little bit softer now lately. And as we see interest rates go up, it's going to get worse. So if you're going to sell, you might want to think about it right away. But notwithstanding, there's a lot of questions to find out I do like the area. Maybe you should move partially. For example, uh, last family was just here, which is just last week, which is why I'm funny. You were asking these questions. People are calling all the time. These questions, they moved to, let's say Florida. And here are these people from North Jersey moved to Florida. They're clients of ours. And they say, Scott, what do you think? I said, well, number one, leave your North Jersey attitude in New Jersey and become a Floridian. Relax. Don't, don't, don't ruin yourself. But notwithstanding, <laughs> Do you like the area? Maybe you should rent. Well, Scott, we're throwing money away. I hear all the time. We're just throwing money away if we rent. Okay. But what better would it be, Alex, to throw your money away for a year and find out you don't like it? Yeah. Or all of a sudden you find out maybe the kids, you, you know, you'll fly back and forth. It sounds good, but let me help those of you. It's a chore flying back and forth when your daughter or son finally pops out the first baby second baby, third baby, you want to be around the kids and all of a sudden you want to be near the grandchildren or maybe your, your spouse wants to be the grandchildren more than you. Well, now you're, you're spending a lot of money. You didn't think you were going to spend. So that move could be a best move in the world, or it could be devastating. That's why I say to some people, uh, what, what's holding you here? What's, why are you staying? Do you want to stay? Well, maybe you want, should rent, mm-hmm. but Scott, it costs more to rent. Okay. Let's say you sell your house for $300,000. You made a nice profit, take $20,000 and go ahead and blow it. That's right. Rent. Yeah. Because you just don't know if you don't like it. Now, if you like it, great. Number two, as the stock market is waffling right now, Real estate prices are starting to contract. You can get that information anywhere. Should you wait? If you've got a big purchase, should you wait? So that is a very, Alex, that question you're asking is is not a simple question. It's not a generic question for me to say, yes, move. No, everybody's so different. Perhaps you're going through medical conditions right now and it's hard to change doctors. Well, that would be a concern. So that's, again, another reason maybe you should rent or not rent. Um, 
Are you going to work down there making new friends? So this is really, really, I uh, could really eat into your wallet very rapidly with the bad mistake. Now, by the way, I'm not saying don't worry about making mistakes. Just add them up, you know, do a really uh, a top down approach, you know, the pros and cons, a side by side approach and think, OK, and should I move or should I move? And then where does the money come from? Do I have enough cash? Should I borrow on my house to buy a new house and then sell my house? Well, that might be an opportunity. I have purchased lots of real estate over my life. I have been really blessed to build a development here in uh, Tom's River called Todd Road Estates. I've been really blessed in the area to get involved in real estate, let alone from the, the, the my horse uh, Farm, the uh, equestrian center we have out in Southampton, but yet in Ocala, we have one. But the real question is, are we burning too much cash? Not burning too much cash. This is a loaded, loaded question. I know I'm all over the map for those listening to me, but let me help you out. If you're thinking about moving, I'm excited for you. I want the best for everybody, but there's a lot of questions to ask before you pull the trigger. Financial insanity, out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. Scott McLean, McLean Advisory Group. And we have time for one more question. And this is a good one this time of year. Hearing this a lot, I'm sure. Do you help people with Medicare is the question. I've been getting a lot of mail and phone calls about it, and it's really overwhelming. Medicare has so many questions, but Obama actually came up with a simple plan. Whether you like him or not, they came up with a simple plan. The question is when you pick the right uh, uh, products. And uh, this is where you really want to make your decisions on picking the Medicare plan. Uh, and then of course, what plans the best for you, everybody's different. And then what is the best um, prescription plan to go? And so you can go on the website and look that up to find out what kind of medication you're taking. So it seems like an easy answer, but it's not. You could get from Gerber, remember Gerber baby food and uh, uh, of course, uh, the mutual of Omaha. Well, those are still plans out there and there's some really good ones out there. People call us all the time. They want to find out what they can change to. And frankly, we're going to be building a department just for that area because people need those help and uh, very simple, but it's not simple. Hmm. Simple is not always easy. I promise you that. Yep. That is for sure. Well, Scott, uh, take us home here. Final thoughts uh, as we wrap up today's program. You know, guys, working in this industry now, I think of the past uh, going on 41 years now, uh, actually my anniversary is March 8th, 2000, uh, well, this year, say 2022. You've got questions and the challenge I find in our industry is maybe you leave the questions on the shelf and you forget about them and you don't ask the questions or maybe you forget to ask the advisor. We encourage people. When people call us, they come into our office, write your questions down, bring them in. When people meet with them, I always say, hide your checkbook, hide your wallet. You cannot do business with me today. It's let's get to understand each other. Let's see if I can be of help. Perhaps you have an advisor you've had for 10, 15, 20 years. He might, or she might be the best advisor in the world just for you but there's something out there that maybe you should just get a second opinion. I promise you, if you had that pain in your hip for a long time, you might want to get a second opinion. And if you don't want to get that surgery, maybe you get a third opinion by putting things on the shelf, you're putting or procrastinating, pushing things away. As we started one of the shows before we spoke about diversifying your portfolio by, by using alternative investments, by paying attention to your taxes, Alex, you brought up today, and by paying attention to the legal documents, is my estate of affairs in order? I promise you, after talking to a client today, they got their power of attorney as they head out to a trip tomorrow, and they're going to be going overseas. What better advice to get? Get your ducks in a row. Get all of your stuff out to your advisor, he or she should be answering these questions. Otherwise, you're stuck in the mousetrap. That's right, you're snapped because you didn't ask these questions. Write them down. Give our studios a call, 609-488-4646. I'd love to speak to you off the air. 
609-488-4646 to help guide you make the right decisions with your money because that wrong decision could cost you tons and tons of taxes, loss of money, and worry. The economy is not right right now. So don't put this on the shelf, crossing your fingers and toes, thinking it's going to get better. I'm here to help you. 609-488-4646, McLean Advisory. Thanks for sharing your time with us. This presentation may contain information which has undergone regulatory or other significant change since its original recording. The information on this program is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and is limited to the dissemination of general information and may not be suitable for members of the listening audience. Communications such as this are not impartial and are provided in connection with advertising and marketing for McLean Advisory Group. Prior to making any investment or financial decisions, an investor should always seek advice from a financial, insurance, legal, or tax professional. McLean Advisory Group and or Scott McLean offer investment advisory and financial planning services through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement. 